Hi, and welcome to the Calder Divide Trail, a long distance circular route around the watershed of the River Calder in West Yorkshire. The Calder Divide Trail is 80% off road. It takes you across the Pennine Moors above Hebden Bridge and Todmorden, around the urban fringe of Dewsbury and Wakefield, and onto the southern washlands near Royston. In this corner of Yorkshire, we don't have mountain peaks or broad forests, but we do have bridleways, greenways and causeways that will take you to quiet, green, wild spaces. To the north is Sun Hill, with views over to Haworth. To the south is Black Hill, the highest point in West Yorkshire. To the west is Heald Moor, where the Calder begins, and to the east is Castleford, where the Calder flows into the River Air. In May 2022, two local riders, Mitch Jones and Andy Westwell, were the first to complete the 152 mile route. Here's what they experienced. Yeah, the west, the west side is definitely a full on mountain biking area. Yeah. As you go down the east, down the basin, it's, it's gravel riding. It's definitely two extremes. It's great. I think we're busy today, we wind farm going. Yeah. Whatever we saw a windmill, we just thought, well, we're going to go down, then we're going to climb back up to the top of that. Yeah. And we literally did that. Didn't we? Yeah, you're down and up, down and up. It was new to me, up there, especially the Coldenhill side, and some of it took the Mary Townley loop, but there's some sections back into, I think you talked about Portsmouth and Tomlin and that. Yeah, yeah. To me, yeah. um, they were fantastic, but we had good weather. No, yeah. stunning over there, yeah. I mean, I mean, I really enjoyed the descent down Nays Lane, coming back, dropping your back down to Todd. That yeah. was very. Top uh, of world, back yeah. to bottom of world. It was a top of world, straight back down, yeah. looking. Yeah, tops of mill chimneys. Yeah. I, I loved it, and it was new, so great. Over oh, Mitchell Moor, you know, over the heather. We we know that, but it's every time you go there, it's stunning. Yes, you know, it's fantastic. Yeah. So uh, really good riding that. Yeah, yeah. real value for money, that, isn't it? crack on and uh, yeah. just stop when we feel like we need to stop. You know, if we, get, yeah. we have a meal and a beer, we think we'll go for another two hours, or we might think, no, we'll get our head down. We did, Depends we did, on weather yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. We did on Mara, we yeah. were like, yeah. well, it's only midnight, only like a few hours left, but you know, we've got our head down for a couple yeah. hours or so. Yeah. 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 On, yeah. on the Challenge weekend, I think it got quite a tough finish. It's great Bailout options, once you're in the valley, you can get straight back if you need to, for, for whatever reason. The Calder Divide Trail crosses 12 valleys, 6 moors and 1 floodplain on its journey around the watershed. Each is crossed by trails that belong to me and you. Each is much loved by riders, runners and walkers. Valleys such as Crimsworth Dean and Ramsden Clough are narrow, steep-sided and clad in oak and beech. While other valleys, such as Westendon, are wide, treeless and filled with reservoirs that supply the needs of industry and around 800,000 people. The Calder Divide Trail is the only bikepacking route in the British Isles that traces the watershed of a river. It covers a wide range of landscapes and can be enjoyed on a gravel bike or a mountain bike. You choose.
The Calder Divide Trail crosses Pennine Moorlands, each with their own special character. Midgley Moor is an open expanse of heather. Flowerscow Moor is grazed by cattle and crossed by a Bronze Age trackway. And Whirlow Common has ruined barns, high stone walls and a steep cobbled bridleway. People have lived in the Upper and Lower Calder for a very long time. Along the high ground of the CDT there are Bronze Age burial chambers. One up on Hades Hill, a second near Stones and a third on Midgley Moor. Over a thousand years later, the Roman army left its mark on the landscape in the form of a military road up on Blackstone Edge, the Roman fort and bathhouse at Outlane, and the Roman settlement in Castleford. But it was the medieval wool merchants who transformed the moors and the valleys with a network of pack horse bridleways that 700 years later the Calder Divide Trail can enjoy. Okay, yeah. All in one go? No. Oof. No, I'm not really out. No. <laughs> right. Nice one. Enjoy. At 45 miles, the River Calder is not an epic natural feature, but it has a beauty all of its own. The Calder is one of 25 major rivers in Yorkshire, and the name Calder comes from the old Celtic language meaning River of Stones. The River Calder is part of the Humber Basin and it is fed by over 7,000 watercourses. Today, the Calder, like so many others, has been straightened diverted and canalised by the demands of agriculture, industry and transport. A few wild places have been reclaimed. Above and below the river surface, life thrives. As you ride, walk or run along the CDT, you see a wide variety of wildlife and habitats. The Calder Divide Trail is a bikepacking event to be held in Mythamroyd on the 17th and 18th of September 2022. There are three routes to choose from and each one will give you an epic ride through a diverse landscape. The route passes through dozens of small villages and on the challenge weekend bikepackers have the option of riding through the night 
staying at a campsite or while camping on higher ground. The CDT challenge is held in memory of local rider Will Norman and will benefit the work of the Overgate Hospice.